Welcome back to Stuttgart. Men's 5,000 metres final. 15 starters. Eleven of them Africans. Staggered start again. Three Kenyans and three Ethiopians. That Moroccan Scar, who's leading there on the outside group, one of the men to beat. He's the 10,000 metres champion from Barcelona. Running the 5,000 metres here. Bitok, one of the favourites, is also in that outside group with Cheshiri. We go inside, we see Karui, who's Chalimo's brother, who had the big clash last year with Scar. Gebra Selesi tucked in behind him, the world junior champion. Belayout is also there. Another Moroccan is Jabor, so the couple there from Morocco. And John Walker. It's a fascinating lineup. Denmark, probably the only one outside the Africans with any claims at all to a medal. This is going to be a fascinating race. It's going to be a race of tactics. It's going to be a race of strength and the person who can survive probably the surges in the middle stages. The Kenyans will run as a team. They'll try and protect Bitok because they feel he's the best. Karuri thinks his best chance is to run from the front. But the man they'll have to all look for is Scar. Well, Cheshire has just taken off as you speak. He's away. Look at this 61-32. They're on world record pace. They're inside it. So Cheshire, the first of the Kenyans. They're going to try and break Scar. Vitok sits on Scar. Karui moving up fourth. Gebra Selesi, the second of the Ethiopians. Izigama's next. Then Bayusa. This is getting very hard very early. Bakila's back. So Cheshire leads. 7-7-8, seven, seven, the third of the Kenyans. Scar second. Favourite here. Bitok may be equal favourite third. Gebra Selesi, world junior champion. Karui outside of him was runner-up in the world junior. Then Baisa. Well, they've set it up, John, and the Kenyan Cheshiri is now going to be the rabbit for the other two Kenyans and try and make Scar and the other Ethiopians work. Well, this is the thing with the Kenyans. He takes a quick look back. They do run as a team, and they'll run for the best person to get through. Scar has got the unfinable position of leading the rest of the pack, which is the hardest way to run. And having run a few 5,000 metres, the worst thing you want is somebody to take off in 61 for the first lap because it is really mile pace running because it's a very, very hard way to run. Well, look at that. Two minutes for the first 800. It's a bit like Ondiiki did uh, when he did a four-minute mile after the first lap and a bit uh, in Tokyo. It's well inside world record pace. It's like being in Oslo and having a rabbit out in front making the pace for you. Tashiri leading by about 10 metres. In second placing is Bitok. In third place is Scar. Fourth, Gebra Selesi. Tucked in behind them. Well, Gebra Selesi got into some trouble there. Tucked in behind them is Karui. In fact, Karui's up in second place and Bitok fifth. Then by Issa, Bikila, Izigama's there. And Jabor, the second of the Moroccans. Denmark at the back of that group. Already belly out in trouble. Karui sitting on the outside of Scar back in second and third spot. A little Kenyan. Kenyans feel he's got the best chance. Kareri knows only one way to run, and that's fast from the front. Bitok won't do anything he, unless he has to. He will sit right in the middle of the pack, and he will wait to the final little stretch. Ethiopia, Morocco, Kenya. There's no love lost amongst any of these athletes. They are great, fierce competitors in great nations. 63-59. They had to slow. Something had to give. Scar moves through to second. It's obvious what the Kenyans have done here. They're working for Bitok, who was second in the Olympic Games last year. They're trying to set it up for Bitok to beat Scar, and then we'll have the Ethiopian connection as well. Tashiri leads. Scar is in second placing. Karui, the teenager, third. Now moving up to second is Gebra Selesi. It's rough there. Karui got into trouble. Bitok fifth. Behind him, Baisa, another medalist from uh, Barcelona. There's Bitok on the left of screen. Baisa comes into screen. Bakila behind him, then Izigama. Behind him, Jabor. He's four from the back of that group. Belay out. Wallop Curis, two from the back as we go back to the leaders. Cheshiri coming back to them. And at the back of the group is Denmark. So it's Cheshiri, Gebra Selesi and Karui. The Cheshire out in front, he still looks like the pacemaker to me. He can't run all this way. He's not good enough for a start. Kareri sitting back in third spot. He'll be the one that'll take off later on the stages. I would say another two or three laps he'll sit there for. They'll try and outrun Scar, sitting back in fourth spot. He's probably the strongest runner in this field. He's a 10,000-meter runner. He can also run a very good five. This will actually suit him. Scar sort of goes back through the field on the inside a little bit. He won't do any more than he has to until the last two laps. They've slowed, John. It was about a 4.09 first mile. They had to slow. The first two laps they were in two minutes dead. Now, it's Karui, the teenager leading. This is Chalimo's brother. They can take their grandparents' names. They did that. Gebra Selesi a second. So Kenya leads Ethiopia, Morocco third, and Burundi fourth. We've got all the Africans there. It's Izigama fourth outside Scar. 
in fifth placing then is Bitok who's done none of the work Baisa is with him they've had some great duels Denmark still at the back of that group from Great Britain the career is a very good cross-country runner and he's decided that he's going to run like this over cross-country ground without the cross-country being here he looks around he's going to surge all the way and try and break scar sitting back in second spot this is the only possible way they can do it they're going to try and take the killer fish and finish out of scar let's get this split 5 11 for 2000 and 62 8 8 it's still very fast running Kariri stretches away look at him accelerate watch this he has put 10 meters in scar quickly well they're on world record pace at the present time this is what I was saying they're gonna run it like a cross-country race they're gonna surge they're gonna try and break the hearts of all these runners Baisa moves through to second scar third Kariri leads by 20 meters seven laps to go in the 5,000 meters Gebra Selesi moves through to second Baisa is third the Ethiopians working well in fourth placing scar behind him is the Bakila, Bitok still sits back, Izigama, Jabor, Denmark having problems hanging on. The rest of the pack have to make the decision whether they're going to follow and get up to the young Kenyan out in front. Do they go and sacrifice themselves or is he going to slow down and come back to them? The young Kenyan out in front, this is the way he feels he can win. Well, this will be a fast lap, it has to be because Karui's got out by 40 metres. It's 60.21, it's a staggering lap at this stage of a 5,000 meters in second place in Baisa. Scar is third. Look at the gap karui has gone on with. They're under the world record at the present time, but it makes you wonder if he could keep this up. He's a very talented runner, and maybe he thinks this is the best way he can do it, but I would have doubts whether he can maintain this pace. Remarkable scene here in the 5,000 meters with six laps to go. Karui has flipped this field up, the teenager from Kenya. Second in the world juniors last year. Accelerates again. 3-4-5 by Issa of Ethiopia. 3-4-8 is uh, Gebra Selesi of Ethiopia. Then came Bakila. The three Ethiopians are behind the Kenyan and stretching out in front. Scars in fifth spot. Bitok is just behind him. I still think they're the two favourites. Then Izigama and Jabor. And Denmark way off the back. Well, this is some running. Inside world record pace, Karui way out in front. Gebra Selesi, Baisa, Bikila, the three Ethiopians next, and then Scar, but they're fading into the distance at the moment. Another 62-4. You notice the three Ethi Ethiopians are looking at each other. They're working together, trying to take it up to Kareri. But they're miles away at the present time. They're hardly in the shot. The three Ethiopians, one, second, third, fourth, trying to work together. This is very sensible team running if the Ethiopians are going to get up. 18 years of age, this young man. What talent. Five laps out in the 5,000 metres. Karui's lead is about 40 metres. Second placing is Bakila, Gebra, Selesi and Baisa. The three Ethiopians work together. That last K was 2.34. Scar's hanging on. Bitok's in a bit of trouble, maybe. Bitok three metres back from Scar. Izigama next, Jabor. This is punishing. It's really hard now. Well, Bitok was one of the favourite Kenyans supposed to get up there, but he looks like he's falling off the pace. In fact, he's going back through the field. You could just about say his chances are gone. Scar's still there. He moves up into third spot. He moves up into... Yes, he's up into third spot now. He's realised he's getting too far ahead and he's going to make the chase. Well, here's a big moment. Scar moves through to second and will try and reel Karui in. Karui's lead is still 40 metres. Scar second. He didn't go out after him. The three Ethiopians with the Moroccan. Remember, Chalimo at the World Championships in 1991 when he split them up. That's Karui's brother. Scar got into trouble on that night and Tanui came through and won the gold medal. Well, we've got three la four laps to go and Karui's lead is still 40 metres. Bakila is second, the least fancied of the Ethiopians. Now Baisa makes a move. Scar hasn't responded. Debra Sales, he's gone past him. So Scar's in a bit of trouble and so is Bitok. Some big surprises here and maybe it's the Ethiopians that'll be splitting the medals. Terreri looks like he's starting to get a little bit tired. He's still got a long way to go. He's starting to roll a little bit. Scar looks like he's off the back. He's the fastest man in the field. Well, one of the, he's still not beaten yet. He ran a superb set of 400s the other day at San Moritz, 2400s in 57 seconds. So he's extremely fit. 64-6. He does go in spurts, Scar, so you don't want to give him away too early. 9.22 for 3,600. Karui still leads by 40 metres. Remember, this young man's 18 years of age. 
He has put on a display tonight that has been unforgettable. Win, lose or draw. The three Ethiopians are working hard. He can have a look at the big string, Karui. He's five seconds in front of the opposition at this stage. In second place by Issa. That's 3-4-5. He was third in the Olympics last year. Gebra Selesi, big Karui in the World Juniors last year. Scar, an Olympic 10,000 metre champion. And 3-4-6 is Bakila. Scar's having a look up at the front. He looks a little bit tired. You can see him looking over and say Karui's getting further and further ahead. He looks like he's a spin force, but who knows? We've seen this before. Well, you just think that Karui must come back to them. He has to. You can't keep going. On Icky did, but he was, a, well, he was a great talent in 91. Karui, surely at 18, is not ready. Here's Gebra Selesi, the other teenager of Ethiopia. We go back to the Kenyan. Karui leading. Gebra Selesi still a long way back, 64-7. He surges again. It's like Kip Koich in Rome in 1987. Every time he got to the top turn, he surged. In second placing, still 40 metres away, Gebra Selesi. Scar is in fourth place. He's still five seconds in front. And he's running 13.04 pace. He's slowed slight, slightly, but not very much. This is excellent running, excellent front running. Can he stay in front? It could be a frantic finish still with two laps to go. Ismail Karui of Kenya leading. The three Ethiopians are taking in turns to chase. Bakila makes the move now. He was in the top six at the Olympics last year. Behind him is Baisa. Behind him, Gebra Selesi. Scars working off the Ethiopians. Less than 700 metres to go now for Karui. Scar looks like he's a little bit in trouble, but I still believe he's working off the Ethiopians, and he'll be hoping the Ethiopians can take him up to the young Kenyan. Look at them, full of running, these Ethiopians. One, two, three, just working together. But here's the leader. But surely Scar is going to have to take the initiative at some stage because Karui's not coming back. Another 64. There's 600 metres to go in this 5,000. The crowd are roaring. And Karui's lead is still the same. He's still five seconds in front. Can they take five seconds out of the 18-year-old in the last lap? Well, Scar's going to have to make his move now. At 13.05 pace, it'll be very hard to take five seconds out of him because it means these guys are going to have to run a superb last lap. Scar's still there. He's using the Ethiopians to get up, but he's going to have to take the initiative very soon if he's going to win this. You can't help feeling he's not going to make it. 12.03 with a lap to go. Karui looked back. Now the Ethiopians go, and Scar hasn't quite responded. Baez is the first of the Ethiopians to go out after. Karui, they're going to sprint at him now. Karui will feel them coming. Baisa and Gebra Selesi might be the one. They're going to go out after Karui. 2.50 to go. Karui's lead is 30 metres. Baisa digs in in the back straight. You can see him accelerate. Karui looks back. Scar's a beaten man. Karui's 20 metres in front. Baisa, Gebra Selesi work together. The two Ethiopians are going to try and run Karui down. Can they do it? Karui's leads 15 metres. The stadium is a light. Everybody's on their feet. This has been a magnificent race. And Karui leads. Gebra Selesi's after him. Karui's hanging on. The 18-year-old. It's one of the greatest victories of all time. That's as good as you'll ever see. It'll bring the house down. Gebra Selesi second. And third was Baisa. You're an Olympic gold medalist. You've seen them all. Have you seen anything better than that? That was unbelievable. It was filled with Bay back in 1975, 74 at his very best. What a great talent of running. When he looked like he was headed, he still picked up the pace with 240 to go, and he went faster and faster. They were gaining on him, but he still maintained that effort. What gutsy front running, and only a Kenyan could do it. Well, just for the record, he smashed the world junior record to smithereens. John, it's one of the most inspiring and remarkable efforts in the history of athletics. That is not an exaggeration. That performance will go down in folklore as one of the greats.